Okay. Hey guys, it is our power planning Zoom for March 22nd. I had to look at the calendar to actually know the date. Um, before we get into the planning, I just want to go over a few of what I would kind of call housekeeping things. Please keep in mind that today is the last day for the free shipping promo. Today is also the last day for the ultimate thriver challenge for people to get um, their, their starting photos, their before photos put in. And I don't know if I just haven't seen it yet, but it's also Sunday. So if you're a part of Marius Thrive Madness, there should be a submittal form that goes in today with your totals, your tally for this past week. Um, so I think that's all of my reminders that I wrote down. I want to make sure I was prepared before we got going today. Um, okay, so before we get started, as always, we like to do our IMs. And I have a couple I shared with my, my personal team last week. And I'm not going to share them all with you guys again today, but I did circle four that I wanted to share um, just to kind of help trigger. I think items are so important in a time like this. And so these are just going to kind of help trigger maybe some for you. So while I'm reading these out loud, like I said, I'm only going to share four with you, but we're going to spend the next few minutes writing down your items. Um, so you could create new ones every time. You can repeat the ones you already have, but I am going to share with you a couple um, so I shared last week, these came from a blog post I found, but the one that gets me every time when I look at it just says, today I make magic. And I feel like we all need a little magic in our life. <laughs> so today I make magic. Um, I am not a product of my circumstances. I am a product of my decisions. And that again is also a very powerful one for a time like this, because yes, it's very easy for us to say, well, we can't because of this, that, or the other, but when you really want something in life, whatever it is, uh, work-related, family-related, whatever, you've just got to plug away regardless of what's happening. And so I think that's very important. Um, another one that I think is really good for this time is I'm open to money coming to me from new ways that I've never imagined. And we're going to talk a little bit about that with our planning tonight, about going outside of the regular promoter bubble that we kind of live in to see the different ways that we can help people, which in turn help our business. Um, and the last one I'm going to share is I am grateful for what I already have and for all that I receive now because I think it's very hard to stay focused right now sometimes on what you already have. We have so much. Um, yes, I know business is crazy. Yes, I know life is crazy. It's weird. But I have a house. I'm dry. I'm warm. Um, if anything comes out of this crazy situation, it's going to be the fact that we're all going to realize how blessed we truly are already. Um, so. Those are just some things I wanted to share with you while you're writing yours down. And then I have three quotes that I'm going to share. And again, these are just to kind of help trigger your mind, get yourself ready for the week. Um, I actually Googled affirmations relating to fear because I think right now there's a lot of fear of just the unknown and we have to tackle that. You know, we have to dive in there and we have to deal with our fear. Um, so these are some quotes that I found that I thought were really good for, um, for us to share tonight. So the one, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this woman's name. Anis? That's what I'll call her. Anyway, she says, life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. And it's true. I mean, you could easily just go curl up in a hole right now and be like, I don't know what's happening. I'm afraid to talk to anybody. Nobody's going to want to buy product from me. I'm worried. You know, you could get just go all wrapped up and just shrink your world. Or you can be like, you know what? Things are different. I'm gonna to have to look at things different. I'm gonna to have to do things differently and I'm gonna just do my best. And so that would be, can you say that again? Yes, life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. And that could be so many courageous things, but obviously tonight I'm referring to our current situation here in the United States. Um, specifically, Ohio got put down on a shelter in place. I know Pennsylvania has already been there or Illinois, somebody, California. It's happening everywhere, so I just think these are important. Um, the other one, and I actually had to reword this slightly because of COVID-19, but anyway, this is Dale Carnegie, and he says, inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you wanna conquer your fear, do not sit home and just think about it, get busy. He actually said go out and get busy, but I took the go out part out because ain't nobody going out right now. Um, and the last one I'm going to share with you, this is from Bear Grills. 
like bear, literally like, like a bear, but grills. Um, being brave isn't the absence of fear. Being brave is having that fear, but finding a way through it. And again, I know there's a lot of uncertainty. I know there's a lot of heart pounding, you know, brain spinning type stuff, but this is definitely a time to do all you can to stay focused and to push past these feelings of fear because when this ends and it will, you will still be in business. So what you do now is going to set the pace for what your business does then. Um, you know, we, I'll just be really honest. So we're obviously shut down in our day job, right? We, we paced it for a few days because we weren't a big fitness center. Um, but you know, as of today, everyone is shut down. So we, we did choose on Friday to shut down. Um, and I was like, okay, it's cool. I got Lavelle. I got rental income. You guys are telling people no one can be evicted. I don't know if I have rental income. I don't know. We have no idea. Will people pay their rent? I don't know. They don't technically have to right now. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. I've got my thrive income, <laughs> right? Like you just keep kind of going back to that. And so you got to stay focused on the positive and what you do have. And if you're on the zoom with me, you have a thrive income. Yes. We're all at different levels, but we all have the unlimited ability to push to a higher level. And I realize that it seems maybe, I don't know, frivolous or I don't know what the word would be. I know sometimes it feels hard right now to talk to people about selling something, but A, not everyone's out of money. B, you're a health and wellness company. And if there's one thing on people's mind right now, it's health. Um, so can people buy all 150 bucks? Maybe not, but perhaps somebody would want to get started on capsules. Perhaps somebody would like to start drinking Blast or Boost because they're going to be around people and they want, you know, whatever it is that you can help someone through, now's the time to be creative. So anywho, those were just the quotes and the, um, some I am's that I wanted to share with you while you were writing yours down. Because like I said, I just think it's really important for us to keep our minds focused right now. Um, please don't think that I'm saying you can't be worried or you can't be afraid. That would be crazy. You're human and we're all going to have these, these times. But when they happen, you got to, you got to pick yourself back up. Like, you know, the sun will come out tomorrow. Like it always does. So you got to be ready. So anyway, I'm going to put those aside. All right. So let's move on to planning our week. Um, I felt, I thought last week was going to be hard to do the power plan because things were like starting to happen. Oh gosh, here we are again a week later. Things have happened, right? Things have definitely happened. Um, so let's talk about using the resources that we have already. They're, they're easily accessible. Um, maybe you've never used some of the resources that you have because you've been the type of person who could go out and about and run into people. Or like in my case, I like to have locals. I like, I like that kind of thing. Um, so we've got to just change, change the way we do business. We got to, you know, ebb and flow, go with the things. So some of the things that we have at your fingertips that you maybe have not used in the past. Um, I hope you've used some of these in the past, but our Lavelle fan page is abundant with stories. It's also recently in the last month or so become really abundant with some good social media. Um, I don't know, like whoever is in charge of it now, like they threw out that recipe using restore. They threw out the recipe with, um, what was something with strawberries? I forget now, but just some like funny witty things that we can share too. So it doesn't always have to be necessarily a story. Um, that you're sharing. You can just still share some of that Thrive Life through the Laval fan page because they are, um, whether it's on Facebook or even on their Instagram, they are getting a little more um, hip. I don't know, I'm 45. Can I say hip? They're getting a little more hip, I think, on social media. So um, definitely use that. You guys, YouTube, we have an amazing YouTube channel. It's called Lavelle Brands, L-E-V-E-L Brands. They have great videos. The, the production quality is amazing. The interviews, the music, the, the everything. They're so good. You can share those with people. You can share those openly on, like, as posts, or you can send those to people when you're doing reach outs. Um, watch parties. I think probably everyone on here, because you, you know how to use Zoom, so you probably know how to do a watch party. But just in case, if you see someone who's a thriver, um, like, for example, when Jason Camper popped on yesterday to talk about recharge, all you have to do is that little purple box, 
where it says start watch party, you can click that button and it will then take what you're watching and share it to your friends list. And you'll see the names of the people that are popping on. You'll get to see who is like clicking on what you're watching. Um, you can't see for sure how long they stay on, but you can at least see that people, that's a great way to share things. So I know, I know some people are leery about being the one on camera or maybe you just did a live yesterday and you're like, oh, I don't wanna bombard people again with my face, whatever it is share other people's things. Um, Haas, and I can't for the life of me think of his last name. If someone knows it, put it in the comments for me, please. But Haas out of Detroit, they did a great Thrive After Five local, or that was, it was originally arranged to happen at a restaurant and obviously that got canceled. So they did it on Facebook. So it was a great thing to share. You can share it, like I said, as a watch party, you can send it directly to somebody. If you had a local that you were going to or you were inviting somebody to and it got canceled, Go find a local, look for this one that's under Haas. I'll find his last name. If I can't find it before this is over, we'll, I'll, I'll put it in somewhere um, and share it with them. Be like, I know our event got canceled, but this one didn't. And it's amazing. And the stories are so good. So share, just be creative in how you share. Um, there's plenty of stuff out there. And then last but not least, um, aside from just sharing stuff that other people are doing, you guys, you're on here. You've got you've got the capacity to use your face and your words um, and your voice to do something. So I'm going to give a shout out to some people who I've been seeing do some things. Um, they're thinking out of the box, and you, you can copy what they're doing, or you maybe it'll trigger something for you. But when I was talking earlier, um, that one affirmation where it says, "I'm open to money coming to me in new ways that I never imagined." Think, okay, so here's some things I, I have seen that I think are amazing. So we have a, a girl on our team, Marie. She actually does, um, she's a pinup girl on the side, like for fun. So all those cute little pictures with the makeup and the hair. And so she said she's had a lot of people asking her about makeup lately and people are at home, kind of bored. So she was gonna do some makeup tutorials and she was just, we were going over, you know, how could she compliant, keep it compliant, doing her makeup tutorial and talk about Thrive skincare. So she's going to be starting her videos off with washing her face and prepping her face for makeup with dry skin. So again, it's something people have asked her for. It's her makeup tips. It's something she's really good at and creative with, but she's going to be having Thrive. Um, Olivia, whose face I see, um, Olivia is doing workouts on Zoom, and she's offering for people to come work out with her so people can stay busy and active during this crazy time. And obviously... She's got her DFT showing. She's probably talking about her circulate pre-workout, you know, whatever the heck it is, but she's using her energy and directing it into something helpful like a Zoom, but she's still obviously being a thriver. Sandra actually went around and took hand creams to the nurses on her team as a thank you for what they do. Um, and obviously they gave her a big shout out, which I know is not why she did it, but it's nice, right? <laughs> they gave her a shout out for, you know, she shared something and was very kind to them. And not only did it show the product that she gave, but it also showed the kind of person that she is. Um, Edie, who's on, and again, these are people from just my direct team because I, that's who I know. Um, Edie actually had goodie bags at the door for the mailman with some hand sanitizer, I think like a protein bar, just some things in there and a little note, you know, thanking them for what they're doing because right now they're kind of a connection to, to the outdoors for us. Um, Lisa Cook is going to be doing quick craft videos for kids. Again, just something to help moms while the kids are at home. But um, obviously she'll have her DFT showing. She'll probably have some Thrive, you know, with strategically placed behind her. Um, but so these are things that have nothing to do with being a promoter as we know. It's not the buy two, get one. It's not the, hey, let's, you know, help you lose five pounds. It's let's help you somehow human to human with something that's important but we're going to do it as like a thriver would do it and then i'm i meant to look really quick i don't know if i can find it but i just read in a chat earlier too um oh i hate when i have these thoughts and then and i actually did sit down and make notes before i started this but anyway um okay i had a customer sponsor two nurses i think i'll have the nurses share a pick and tag so I don't know exactly what this means. What I'm assuming it is, is that Brittany had a, a, a Thrive customer who knew two nurses and that customer purchased Thrive for them. I don't know if she bought them capsules. I don't know if she got them the whole three steps, but I thought that is so awesome to like sponsor someone in the medical field. And we all, 
we all I'm sure have someone in the medical field right now on our Facebook page that's showing up that's talking about being exhausted, run down, scared of bringing illness home to their family. And so if you have some product on your shelf or you have some credits to spare, that would be something awesome to do. And again, it's not for the shout out, it's for from your heart, but it's how a Thriver helps. It's how a Thriver shares. Um, so anyway, I'm just using these as ideas to get your brain rolling. I want my challenge to you is come up with something, come up with something for you. Take one of these ideas and either be like, that's brilliant, I'm copying it, or be like, you know what, that makes me think of uh, maybe I'll do a cooking Zoom once a week with a weird, like a new recipe or whatever it is. I'm, I don't know. Like you're all so freaking talented in your own way. Um, maybe, I don't know, I, may, maybe you read to kids. Maybe you, I don't know. You're all, you're all smart. Come up with something. But anyway, my point is to get out there, stay out there in front of people, but you just have to do it in a different way than what you're, what you're used to. Like we've got to put ourselves out there in a different way. Um, so that is a way of reaching out. I know that was like a really roundabout way to get to the reach outs for, for our week here, but the challenge is to come up with something. So like, for example, when uh, Olivia does the workout, she's obviously reaching out to multiple people at once. When Sandra gave the hand creams, it was to one specific person at a time, but that counts as a reach out. That's you reaching out to the world, to whoever. Um, you guys, if you have anybody on your list, and I know you do, that are celebrating birthdays this month, light them up, light them up on messenger, do anything you can to make their birthday special and fun. Because trust me, it's not They're <laughs> They don't even have the possibility of having drinks with friends or cake at the restaurant or whatever. Right. Um, if you see somebody celebrating an anniversary and one I thought of earlier too, because we have happy, we have it happening in our family. If you know someone who is supposed to be getting married this month or next, they're probably not. Most weddings are called off. I actually just saw a girl getting married on Facebook Live right before I got on here. It's her, her new husband, and their kids. And they're Facebook, they're Facebook Living it for their family. Probably not the way they thought they were going to get married, but again, they're thinking out of the box. So there's a lot of people. Um, we all have some crushed dreams right now, right? We all have some crushed. So I don't want to not acknowledge that you all have crushed dreams. What I want to say though is put that aside and contact other people about their crush dreams. Just be that light, be that shining light. Um, if, if you want to talk to somebody about your crush dreams, call me. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it all day because I got a lot of time on my hands now. <laughs> um, but put that aside and help celebrate someone else. Help, help pull someone else up out of the dirt because um, that's what we do, right? So for reach outs, this is going to sound harsh, except, except for you, Carolyn, because I know you're still working. For the, and, and Courtney, I know you're working. So you know, Courtney is a pharmacist tech. Carolyn is working for the Walmarts. And let me tell you, these two are working themselves to the bone. And the fact that they're even on a Zoom right now is amazing. You both deserve naps and time off, but thank you for being here. Um, but the rest of us who have a lot of time on our hands, you got plenty of time to be doing reach outs. And here's the kicker, the people you're reaching out to, most of them have plenty of time to talk back. So send the message, send the message. And I actually meant to write it down uh, the other day. Brittany did a, um, a Zoom live uh, local thing. I don't, why don't even, I guess a virtual local. And I caught her, she said something at one point just in passing about this might have been before the level. Anyway, she said somebody in passing about how an empty messenger is no good. Like you want your messenger full. So make that your goal every day. Like even if so, I mean, I know like it's five, four, three, two, one, but honestly, you got a lot more time than five, right? So just make your goal to have a full messenger. Send out as many messages as you can. Walk away, go do some laundry, take a walk, whatever, and then come back. Make it a game. How full can you get your messenger? How how many messages can you possibly have to return? So remember, to have a, a messenger full of people talking to you, you have to ask them questions. And there's obviously an easy question to ask anybody right now, and that is, are you okay? How are you doing? How are you holding up? It's the, probably the easiest message you could send anybody right now. Like, you don't even have to be creative with words at this point, people. You just have to be human and reach out. Um, 
Because you got to remember if there was ever a time in your life where you were really down or something bad was happening and somebody reached out to you, you remember that person still to this day. So like I said, when this is all done and it will be done, be the person they remember, right? The person who, who would just ask them if they were okay. Um, so we've got obviously reach outs. We have follow-ups. Hopefully from all these reach outs you're doing, you're going to have questions. People are going to be talking to you. Um, don't forget to obviously follow, follow up. The auto ship we have for the 25th is uh, Sunday, Monday, that's Wednesday. Please, for the love of Pete, go through your reports and we're gonna go through this again. You're gonna go into the, the cloud, you're gonna go to my customers, you're gonna scroll to the far right, you're gonna click the next auto ship button twice. It'll populate of who's got an auto ship coming out. If you have someone that says auto ship coming out March 25th, contact them today, today, tomorrow. This is not a good time for someone to get an unexpected charge on their credit card. I mean, it's never a good time, but this is truly not a good time. So just extend, extend that courtesy to them that you would want. Hey, you've got an auto ship coming up on Wednesday. I want to verify with you that that's still, that that's still okay. And is there anything we can do to change that auto ship up for you? Like if Carolyn was my customer, I'd be like, girl, let's get you some pure shots. And I don't know, a bodysuit. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like, like reach out to these people. So we should always be doing this anyway, but if then, you know, just, I don't know, like I can't, it's, there are no such things as spare customers. So keep the ones you have happy, 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 happy. I just realized chats are happening and I'm missing it. Love. Oh, thank you. Love the positivity, Tammy. Thank you ladies. We appreciate you. Y'all. Yes. Carolina Courtney, you, you definitely, y'all blow me away. Sam was that person for me. Now look at me. See, Samantha was the person who reached out to Courtney and now look at Courtney. Thank God Courtney's here. Love you, girl. Um, okay, so this week we are going to, number one, get super creative about how we do our job. So report back. Like, let me know what you guys come up with. I gave you five or six amazing ideas of, of stuff people on my team are doing. Um, you know, and like some of these things, if you're not super comfortable doing a whole video, hop in your stories and do a quick video. Um, you know, if it's a quick craft or it's a quick recipe or it's um, whatever it is, I don't know. But uh, use this time to connect with people on a deeper level. Like we talk about this being a relationship business. This is truly the test, you guys. It's you got to be as relational as possible right now. Nobody wants to have surface conversations at this point because, I mean, there's nothing surface to talk about anymore right now. It's all real. Like, pardon my words, but the shit hit the fan. It's real. People are hurting, people are scared, people are um, trying to do their best with the time that they have. And so just reach out and talk to people. Um, if you know of anybody on your timeline who lives alone, put them first on your list. Let's make that, Monday should be anyone, who, anyone on your timeline that you know lives alone, that's who we're gonna talk to for sure Monday and Tuesday. Because I have a girlfriend who is in Florida and she, made the most pitiful post yesterday. And I just hadn't really thought about it, but she lives alone. Her kids are gone. She's not married anymore. She's not quarantined or not quarantined, but you know, whatever we call this. And she's super sad. And I get that, like, don't get me wrong. I have picked and poked on Tom nonstop. And you forget like how nice it is that you have somebody to poke at, to, you know, pick on, and, you know, make fun of or be me, <laughs> whatever it is. So uh, let's make Monday, Monday and Tuesday people who we know are living alone. Um, and then by Wednesday, let's have on our list that we're going to do our, whatever it is, whether you're going to do some sort of workout video, like, um, Olivia did, whether you're going to try to do something in honor of healthcare people like Sandra did, you know, whatever it is, um, let's get that done by Wednesday. Obviously keep up with your birthdays, people, like I said, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings. And then the last thing I want to talk to you about before we get off of here is if you are one of the people who have some extra downtime. Let's use that time for self-improvement, right? So maybe it's, and, and I don't know, I feel like we're going to have a lot of downtime. Um, maybe pick a few projects that you've been putting off and there are things that would help in your life. You know, maybe, maybe when you get dressed in the morning before work, you're always a couple minutes late because you can't find, uh, I don't know, the socks or whatever, like go ahead and organize that drawer. Maybe you're the person whose purse is always a mess and you can't find that receipt. Now's the time. You guys, we have until July 15th for taxes now. 
mind boggling in the best way possible. Um, get your taxes done. Like, <laughs> and use this time to set up a better system. What did you struggle with this year when you did your taxes? Fix it. Fix it for the next year. Make next year's taxes that much easier on you. If you couldn't find your receipts, figure out a way to keep them. If you had your receipts, but they were a kajumble, figure out a way to organize them so that things are better this year. Um, like I said, it's really easy to be like, you know what, I'm going to Netflix and chill because the world is crashing around me and I don't know what to do and I'm overwhelmed. But, oh my gosh, this is an opportunity if you look at it the right way. Is this the way I wanted to spend the next month? Probably, I probably would not have elected for this. However, it's the situation we're in. So now I'm home. I really have no reason not to get my house picked up and get things organized and get those because here's the thing, I have like maybe four hours left of like actual time I need to spend on my taxes. But you know, I could easily let that sit till July 14th, right? So don't, what is that? Don't put off today what you, don't put off for tomorrow what you could do today. Dive in today, do all of this today. Let me see, I'm missing some things. Yes, self-improvement, move that body. Absolutely, you guys, you're thrivers, you move your body. We are still in the state of Ohio allowed to go outside. No, we don't have a gym that you can go to, whatever, but we can go outside. And there's a lot of stuff you can be doing at home. Take care of your body. If you're the type who you're like, gosh, if only I had 20 more minutes in the morning, I would get my devotionals done and I would go for a walk. Guess what? Game time. Get your devotionals done and go for a walk. Um, happy hour with Sam. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm so excited about this. I was wondering if you guys had this figured out yet or not. And again, kudos to you, Courtney, because I know that you're working in St. Hours right now. Samantha and Courtney are going to start hosting a little thing called Happy Hour with Sam and Court on Wednesdays. And I absolutely cannot wait to see this go down because I'm sure it's going to be hilarious. And you know what I was thinking too would be so funny is when this is all over and done, some of these things that you guys are doing, how they'll carry on. Like they'll start because of this whole situation, but they'll carry on. Like I hope next spring we're still having cocktails with Sam and Courtney. You know what I mean? Like I just think this is so awesome. Uh, okay, can't wait. Uh, Lizzie says can't wait. She wants to include her. Um, so anyway, you guys, I feel like I've rambled a little bit. Hopefully, I've given you some direction. Like I said, Monday and Tuesday, let's talk to people who are alone. Uh, definitely reach out to all of your auto ship people. Do not go to bed. Actually, it's 7.30ish almost here in Ohio. In the next 30 minutes, make sure you talk to everyone else about free shipping. Um, I had a couple people reach out to me today to order Thrive. And the one girl said, she's like, oh, I feel like my Thrive is more important now than ever. And I was like, yes, that's what I wanted to hear because that's how I feel too. Um, so free shipping is, is, that's a nice little bonus right now. Um, and again, the ultimate Thriver ends and then hopefully we'll see something from Mari about Thrive Madness. Uh, don't forget your auto ships. I don't know, that's it. That's all I've got tonight. Hopefully I gave you some ideas. Hopefully you guys get this thing rolling. Share this with your team. Um, if you see people on your team kind of slipping, you know, like starting to hide, if they start to scoop out, like we're like, hey, is anyone here? And they start doing this, reach out and just call them and talk to them. They're probably freaking out inside and they just need someone to talk to. So don't even talk to them about Thrive. Just check on them and see how they're doing. There's a, there's a lot of people who are trying to slip into the background. I see you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, love you guys. See you later. Bye.